Hey folks, Joe here at Player TV once again, and today we take a look at Speedlink's latest offering in the form of an RGB mouse and pad. Speedlink isn't really a name that is commonly referred to when talking about peripherals. However, they have been producing some stunning examples and today we take a look at the Sakanos RGB Gaming Mouse and the Arias RGB Gaming Mousepad. Yes, you heard that right, an RGB Gaming Mousepad. More on that shortly. Let's first focus on the unboxing experience. We are going to pay attention to the Arias Mousepad first hand in this review, and the box is presented nicely with a bright, vibrant, sharp image of the mousepad on the front, with some information to the right. On the rear you get a little more information such as the dimensions, USB connectivity and some key features of the Orias to the right. Opening the box you get a large black plastic tray housing the pad itself. Trailing along the black you get the cable. Remove the tray and a plastic sleeve and you can see the pad itself. There are 5 rubber feet for traction on a desk surface and you can really appreciate just how slim it actually is. In fact the thickest part is actually the metal housing at the top of the pad. The Arias comes in at 350 by 250 millimeters, and the width is only 4.3 millimeters, which is only marginally thicker than a standard mouse pad. The pad itself is solid with a large plastic sheet to give it its shape and rigidity, and the top is covered in a micro texture finish that is both hard and soft at the same time. A rather unusual material, but it makes the mouse slide across it so easily with no friction at all. There isn't really a great deal that can be said when reviewing a mouse pad, but the party trick of the Arias RGB is in the name. Powered simply by a single USB, you get an RGB light show that really emphasises it and it looks fantastic. The entire outer edge of the Arias lights up and the smoked plastic really diffuses the colour nicely, and due to this it flows really smoothly. Not only does the edge light up, but also the Arias and the Speedlink logos in either corner. To change the lighting mode you can simply touch the power button on top here, and it will cycle through assorted modes and colours. What's more is that you can also control the lighting effects via RGB software on your system. Now that we've taken a look at the mousepad, it makes sense to move on to the mouse itself, and here we get the Sakanos RGB Gaming Mouse. Before we take a closer look, let's do the usual and get it unboxed. The box itself is nice and vibrant once again and has clear images with plenty of information on the back, including some details about the detachable panels too. Opening it up, you get a small bag with the two interchangeable side panels. These are a matte black plastic and as you can see, there are magnets that hold it in place. Take the cardboard insert out and you get a user manual and then the mouse itself in a plastic mould. The Sakanos is a very nice looking mouse with a mild gaming feel to it. It's a matte black unit with some glossy black accents and the lead is a nice long well made braided one. The mouse is a nice and sturdy unit that feels very nice to hold. It fits very nicely in your palm and the clicks are relatively spongy but have a nice resonance to them and they work really well. The top is coated in a matte black rubber for extra grip too. When it comes to the technical aspects of the Sakanos, it features seven ergonomically placed buttons around it. From the usual left and right click, scroll wheel, two buttons below this, and an additional two to the left hand side of the mouse. These extra buttons not only control the DPI from 5000 to 10000, but also can be assigned as shortcuts too. The Sakanos features a Pixart 3325 gaming sensor, which is very responsive with a 1000Hz polling rate. As previously mentioned, the Sakanos has swappable panels. The reason for this is that you can have either the mouse as it is, with a slimmer design, and have no finger rests, which is ideal for some, however if like me, your finger and thumbs may drag slightly on the surface. Simply pull the panel away and swap for the other, and you instantly get a thumb rest which raises your thumb away from the surface. On the opposite side it is exactly the same, and you get another panel for an extended finger rest. This makes it suited for a much wider range of users, providing the optimal setup for the person holding it. The Sakanos, like almost any gaming peripheral available today, is of course RGB and there is a fair bit more control in this sense than the mousepad. This can be controlled either via RGB software to sync with your system, or on the mouse itself, and the logo, strips, and scroll wheel all light up, and when they do, it looks fantastic. Not too overwhelming, but just right. Paired up with the Arias together, they both complement each other perfectly. And that pretty much wraps it up for this review of the Arias and the Sakanos by Speedlink. Both are solid offerings from the company to the peripheral markets. The Arias is a fantastic mousepad with fantastic build quality, illuminations, gaming presence and a surface that is perfect for effortless mouse movements, making it perfect for gaming. The Sakanos is a mouse that has plenty of features with lots of expansion options with 7 buttons, RGB illumination, it is lightweight and well constructed. The swappable side panels are an especially welcome touch and they can really maximise the experience and adapt to the user. 
combine them both together and you have a strong mix that will certainly fit in well with any gaming setup, especially those that are RGB rich and they are just as practical too. That's why I'm happy to award both the Sakanos and the Arias our Player Silver Award. As always, if you wish to get your hands on your own, then you can do so by clicking the link in the description. Whilst you're down there, don't forget to click like and subscribe for more content like this, and we will see you in the next video.